you know you just have to try it get used to it and then once when I use her pen thing I like to come in going to do that but it's not gonna I'm just gonna do the, the black instead usually I take my red that I'm coloring and I'll use it up front for the cheeks so that I don't have to add It's As you can see, we've gone how dark and how pretty that's looking. Okay. So now we're going to do the black on her dress because we've done the shading. Now my black, I do tend to go straight on there and heavy when I'm doing the black because I just, I like a really dark image. So if it's too dark for you the way I do it, use less black. Just like you did with the brown. Just go sparingly. And you notice I didn't bring the gray over here onto her tail because there's just the black dominates it so much. If you put the gray there, you're not going to know it's there anyways. Basically, I'm just going over my outline and bringing it in to have a little black show the shadow. But you see how the inks, by doing it this way, it does it, the work for you. See, I didn't have to do any shading and all that. This does it for you. That's why I'm saying I will never color any other way than using dilution inks with this. I don't know if it's the inks that does it or what. I just don't know. I just know that it works. And I don't have to spend all day trying to get shading in there that I personally probably could not do anyways.
and just bring it down and around, make it curve, you know, so it looks like it's actually shaded. Okay, now we'll do her arms. All we have left to do is just her little things and I think we will put let's go with lime green it's actually fresh lime I'm sorry okay and down here instead of trying to get in all those little tiny cracks like I said I don't do tiny go straight down with the green I will let that dry and then I'll just come in with my white gel pen and get and white out the ones I want white or I can come in with my black marker and do it in black whichever way I choose and here I'm just using my mark all because these anything that's real tedious like this it's just too hard to get in there it's like better to leave it along so there's your first one, and I would go back in and I would color all the the cherries with my black marker because I just like bold. You could go in there with your um, black ink, but honestly, I don't think I would because I think it probably would run because you're putting the black onto the pink. Because remember, anything time you get this wet, I don't care. If it's today, a year from now, it will reactivate the ink. So do not go back and add because then you're going to have a mess. So see, just go in there. I hope this helped y'all. Um, this is my first time doing a video on teaching, coloring, and everything. But I really feel like... It is the easiest way to do this. I mean, it's up to you which, how you want to do it. But maybe give it a try and come back and see. Because you might decide you like it. And then I'll just go back in here in the areas where I like it a little bit darker. Because like I said, I like very dark. And I'll just do it in like that and come in. If I feel it's not dark enough, I'll bring the pen in. And I'll just add, but you know, and I'll just basically cover my little cherries and come back and add a little white with the pen. But then for her cheeks, I forgot to put her cheeks on there because we don't want to get into that black because it's going to make a big mess if you do. So basically, just give her a little bit of a cheek right here. We don't get too close in there. Okay, then you'll use a I'm going to get one that doesn't have anything on it because I don't want to mix colors like I did earlier. Okay. So we're just going to give her a little bit of color.
okay and she's got a little bit of pink and then to add if you want to add her little I think cats have like a slash that goes across their eye that for a little highlight and then on the cherries And add some little dots. Okay, that is it for this one. Just cut her out and, you know, she's ready to go. So the next video will be on how to do a background with using her on there. Okay.